Hello, my name is David Arbogast, and I'm an intensive journal workshop leader at Dialogue House. I'd like to speak to you for a few minutes about the intensive journal, and in particular about one of its aspects, what I call the inward-outward journey. In the mid-1960s, Dr. Ira Progoff, a holistic depth psychologist working in New York City, began asking his clients to keep journals as a tool to help them resolve their life's issues. As Dr. Progoff worked to refine methods of journal writing in his practice, and as he became increasingly aware of its benefits to his clients, he wanted to find a way to make those benefits available to all persons, not just those who could afford to spend $200 for a session with a therapist. So, he developed the intensive journal method and established a foundation, Dialogue House, to bring that method to a larger audience. Fifty years later, Dialogue House continues to carry on Dr. Progoff's work by sponsoring intensive journal workshops all across the United States and indeed around the world. I could speak to you at length about the intensive journal, but as I said, I want to tell you about one particular feature of it the inward outward journey. We might say that most of our waking hours are concerned with things that are exterior to ourselves. Furniture, automobiles, food, computers, people, all those things we can touch and see, hear and smell and taste. Most significant are the persons we come in contact with. Some of them are close to us, family members, lovers, friends, and some are simply acquaintances, our colleagues at work, for example, the members of our book club, or the regulars at our favorite bar, or the other worshipers at our church. And then there are those with whom we seem to just come in contact, but our interactions with them are fleeting, the checkout clerk at the grocery store, other drivers on the road, folks we see in our neighborhood or at the gym, the woman on the other end of the phone when we call the utility company about a problem. All of these persons and all of these things in our lives are external to ourselves. They are out there. But all the while, we live rich internal lives. We think about these persons and these things. Some of our thinking is deliberate, like when we ponder a relationship or think about a film we've just seen, or maybe we simply make a grocery list. Some of our thinking is less deliberate. It seems to just occur, like the daydreaming we do when we're sitting at a traffic light. We also have feelings about all these things and persons external to ourselves. Likings and dislikings, friendship, love, aversion, possibly even hatred. Sometimes we just feel up or down, or lonely or discontent, or joyful. When we take the time to look, we see that there's a vast world of interior experience that runs alongside our external experience. And of course, there are the dreams that come to us unbidden during the two or six or eight hours that we are asleep, also a part of our interior lives. At an intensive journal workshop, we explore these external and internal experiences or relationships as our workshop leader guides us through a series of journal exercises designed by Dr. Progoff. As we progress, a momentum develops that serves to integrate our inner and our outer lives so that we may come to experience greater fullness, greater wholeness, as we move forward with those lives. This is what I call the inward-outward journey. It is one of the profound benefits of practicing the intensive journal method. There are, of course, many, many more. The best way to begin with the intensive journal is by attending a workshop. 
you'll find a schedule of workshops conducted both in person and online elsewhere on this site. Thank you for taking the time to listen and to learn a little bit about the Intensive Journal.